Hi, and welcome to HLWW's third installment of Short Story Quickies with me, Caitlin McShay. Today we're talking all about submitting your short story. So at this point in the process, you've edited, you've revised, you've maybe had a few beta readers for your short story, and you're ready to look for submissions. The submissions process can be long, it can be intimidating, and it can be frustrating. However, I hope this video helps with the process at least a little bit. The first step for submitting your work is looking for publications that are open and accepting what you have to offer. There are two websites I strongly recommend for anyone looking to submit a short story. The first website is Duotrope. Duotrope is an amazing website where you can look for thousands and thousands of publications that are accepting your type of work. The one catch with Duotrope is that it is not free. It usually, um, if you decide to subscribe to it, it's about $50 a year, I believe. But the really cool thing about Duotrope is that you can search for publications that are accepting your genre, your word count, and you can also look at the publication's history. Are they accepting a ton of publications, like 100% of publications? Are they only accepting about 1% of submissions? So you can kind of see what your playing field is. The other website I strongly recommend is Submittable. Submittable is a free website, and that also has thousands and thousands of publications you can submit to. Um, that one, you have to sift through things a little bit more, but it's still a great option if you're not quite ready to pay money to look for um, publications to submit to. When you submit your work, it helps if you submit to a lot of different places. So most publications will say that they accept um, simulta simultaneous submissions which means that you can submit your work to their publication and as many other publications as you'd like to. This is a good thing because sometimes it can take months to hear back from different publications and you never know where or who's going to accept your work. So definitely look for publications that accept simultaneous submissions and don't just submit to one place. If a place says they do not accept simultaneous submissions, I would suggest not sending my work to them because the chances of that one publication accepting your work are, are very small. The next thing is to think about contests. Now, most people, when you talk to writers, there, is, there are differing opinions about paying to submit your work. So some publications will um, have a reading fee for, for your work. And unless you're really looking for places that maybe just accept one to two percent of submissions, it usually is a good idea to not spend a ton of money just submitting work to places. The one exception that I've heard from lots of authors and published writers are contests. So when we have a reading fee with contests, with guest judges, where the jackpot for winning is significantly more than the reading fee, I would definitely consider paying for a contest. HLWW is hosting a contest at, in January, um, which we hope you all submit to. But if you find other contests for short stories, definitely consider submitting to those as long as they seem reputable and they seem like um, a place where you would be proud to show your work. So at the end of the day, when you're submitting your work to places, whether you decide to use Submittable, Duotrope, or if you just do Google searches and find magazines and publications that you would like to be a part of, make sure they are places where you would proudly share on your social media to your family and friends. And, and if that answer is yes, you would be proud, they are places that you should submit your work to. So I hope this is a little helpful. As always, let us know if you have any questions or comments, and I will do my best to help. Thanks for watching.